G'day guys, welcome back to 107.3 Job Pedal FM, where we have my man, Roger, who's a sector student on the line. How are you going? I'm good, thanks. Nelson, how are you? I'm good, mate. Can I call you Rog? You can. Yeah? Awesome. I feel like we're bonding already. We are. Beautiful. Um, mate, you've just completed a security course with Sector, is that right? Yes, I have. It was a really good course. I loved it. Yeah, what were the best things you took out of that? Uh, for me, it was learning how to communicate with people. I think communication is a really important part of the job, and the way you speak to people really comes across during the course. And it's quite practical in its approach, right? Oh, absolutely. Very everyday solutions and, and practicality. Awesome. Let's get into the meat and potatoes now. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a, a vagabond around town. I'm frequently kicked out of licensed premises because I, I do enjoy a drink and I get a bit rowdy at times. Um, so what happens if, what, what do I do if I'm kicked out of a pub? Okay. Well, under the liquor laws, if you're intoxicated in the premises and you're asked to leave because of your aggressive behaviour under the Liquor Act, um, you have, or well, we have as security guards, the power to eject you from those premises. Right. And what if I refuse to leave? What happens then? Well, if you refuse to leave, uh, unfortunately, we call for backup. And then when those team members arrive, we can actually physically remove you from the premises. At the same time, whilst removing you, I'll tell you the reason for your removal and you cannot return to those premises for the next 24 hours. Generally, we'll ask you if you're okay to get home. We will call a cab. We will get public transport for you to make sure that you get home safe. Okay. What if I just don't want to end my night? I'm hanging around the pub. I'm sick. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't have been kicked out. You can have 20 drinks and do what you want. And I'm, you know, What happens? then do I can I stay outside the pub Nah, Nelson unfortunately you can't you're required by law to move more than 50 meters away from the venue if you don't do that the police can be called and you could be fined up to five thousand five hundred dollars right that explains that fine I got on Oxford Street last week I, I need a notepad Jesus okay um well that's very um interesting stuff I mean and I guess that speaks to the value of training because that, that, at places like Sector because that can be quite a difficult thing to do, I imagine, without training. Uh, it is difficult, but as I said before, the, the good thing about the course is that you do a lot of communication skills and, and learn the ability of how to speak to people and how to communicate with people so it sort of lessens the circumstances of aggravation and it just makes it a lot easier for everyone. Yeah, I pay to take notice for security. Rog, thanks so much for coming on, mate. No, you're welcome. Thanks, Nelson. Great to chat.